Hello, Final Destination. Welcome. My name is Fear the Wolf Dog, and um, or Fear from the uh, Discord server. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up RocketCAD. Uh, it's going to be relatively simple. Uh, RocketCAD, for your information, is to let uh, officers like uh, like myself and the other officers in the server, along with EMS, uh, to pull up your identification cards um, in our system, write you. Um, tickets, do your medical reports, so forth, so on, depending on what's needed to be done, uh, arrest reports, so forth, so on. Um, that and also on top of that, that's where you're going to keep your licenses, your vehicles that you own, your gun registrations, everything like that. Uh, we are we are going to be transitioning into that. Um, and for the uh, for in the future, people that are new, it's gonna it should be a well established uh, thing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to therocketcad.com. The link for that is gonna be in the description down below. Also, if you are on the Discord server, that will be posted in there. Also, you're going to come up here. You're gonna click join slash login. You're gonna click create an account. Do uh, simply just put in your information there. And once you do that. you will sign into your account if I can type in my info correctly that will obviously have something blocking it so that way uh, you guys don't see my information once you get that you're gonna come into here you're going to see that you're uh, that you're not in a pro uh, you're not going to be in a community you're gonna click uh, click the button there you're gonna join uh, you're gonna search for final destination DOJ RP once you do that, you click on the server, it will add it to here. Um, and then from there, you will have, uh, you'll have full reign to do whatever you need to do. From there, you'll click on patrol. Um, and yours is going to look a little bit different uh, than this. This is, um, this is what you see when you're police. Uh, but you're going to click on citizen, you'll see civ. Or wait, actually, identifiers. Uh, so what you need to do for identifiers for me, I have mine as Civ three five two as that is what I am. If you uh, if you do not see anything right here, you'll come right here. You can type whatever you wish. You can, it doesn't matter what you type in. You can type in numbers. You can type in names. Anything, whatever you want. You type in your number and then you hit the plus button right here, and that will add you. Uh, that will put in an identifier. That identifier is just for CAD alone. It, we don't see it that's it uh so once you do that you come to here you click on uh citizen of final destination that will be the only link you'll see if you are a, uh if you are actually a civ and you uh, and you are not part of the, the police department if you are a part of the police department you're going to be up here uh all right so you're going to click here click next and then click on new economy which probably later on the old economy tab will be gone uh, we don't know as of right now, but as of, uh, but for now, uh, if you are playing on the new economy, which is the more realistic, you're going to click on new economy and then click next. From there, you're going to select that identifier that you made. It will pop up over here. Click patrol. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to a new, uh, to a new page. And then you're going to click create no, uh, new persona. Once you do that, it's going to give you a massive uh, a massive list to fill in your character's name, date of birth, uh, uh, basically an ID card. You're going to fill out an ID card, and then the next thing after that is a medical card. You're going to fill in your information from there. Once you do that, you're going to see this screen here. You're going to see licensing center, judicial system, vehicle center, firearms, personal info, and medical profile. The medical profile. This is what it's going to look like when you're uh, when you're putting your medical profile together. You just type in what you wish, uh, and then you'll hit done, and it will bring you to here. This is where you'll see all of your information. Uh, from here, uh, unless you actually have the ID in game, so like if you've gone to the uh, if you've gone to the driving school in the server, you are allowed to hit valid on the uh, on the uh, thing so it, it will look like this uh, your none will be grayed out your valid will be green if you have it 
in the uh, in the server. You've gone to the driving school. You've taken the test. You've driven it. You can hit valid. If not, don't do anything with it because at that point, an officer knows when they look up your information. You don't have the driver's license, and on top of that, they can see in game that you don't have the driver's license. Uh, so that is going to be here. Also, the same thing with firearm license. If you do not have the firearm license in game, do not hit valid in the uh, in the uh, Rocket CAD. Once you do that, uh, you're going to go over to Vehicle Center. If you own any vehicles, you can pull it out of your garage. You've bought it from the uh, from a car dealership. You'll come here. You'll click New Vehicle. You're going to type in the vehicle's license plate exactly as it comes out, the model. Uh, the registration st uh, status, I would recommend setting that to valid and also valid for the insurance. Uh, and then also set up the colors and everything else. From there, you got the firearm uh, center. Uh, you're going to type in the model of the gun. Please be precise. If it's a pistol, it's a pistol. If it's a heavy pistol, heavy pistol, heavy shotgun, so forth, so on. Um, and then also, the color doesn't really matter. Mostly black because that's how it spawns. Um, so that's going to be your general information. Uh, you're going to typically see this if there is a priority set in progress by uh, by ongoing police uh, police in that server. Uh, that just really depends. Uh, I don't believe the call services has been integrated completely yet, but that uh, that should hopefully be added in soon. Uh, I do. The emergency services might work though. I don't know. Uh, at least not until we get dispatch fully working. Uh, go to work. You can also, uh, for a go to work, you can choose that if uh, once that is fully implemented. Personal info is going to have your uh, your ID card and everything like that. Uh, and if you need to, uh, if you need to know if it was set in there properly, find a police uh, police officer in the server, and they will look you up. Uh, from there, if you've ever been arrested or you want to know if you have any warrants for your arrest or anything, all of your information is going to be right here. Um, obviously, I don't have anything here because I haven't done anything yet as a civilian, so I don't have any records for my criminal uh, criminal life. So uh, just know that when something does happen, it, uh, it will pop up here saying, uh, like, you got a warrant for your arrest or you've uh, you were given a ticket for such and such activity or you were arrested for this activity so that is how you use the civilian uh, thing and how to set that up uh, so that is going to be the basic rundown of how to use rocket cad also on top of that if you are in our discord server which i really hope you are especially if you're getting this link uh, please make sure you look at the rest of the before you ask section, which is the area where you're going to be getting this link uh, for the YouTube video. So yes, please make sure that you come through here. We d uh, I do have a massive list here of all of the current keybinds uh, that is subject to change depending on uh, if they need to be changed. Uh, it also does have controller slash gamepad support uh, based on the Xbox remote. Um, and if things change on there, I'm going to be moving around, uh, moving those around. I do need to add in what they actually do. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Uh, there's also some other, uh, there's also some other information in here, uh, for such as ban appeals, um, Trello, uh, the server IPs, which these, uh, I think that are, that IP is incorrect. That's going to have to change. Um, also, the website info and uh, how to apply for Leos. Also, on top of that, a uh, little tiny shout out, but um, uh, I do have a link in here for a video on how to fix your map zoom data. That is when you zoom into your map and the map turns black on you. This will fix it to where when you zoom in, it actually has the full zoom in map and you can see all of the area codes and so forth and so on. Also on top of that, it does add a lighting mod to it to fix that. Um, there's also a uh, photo here that one of our developers posted on how to fix your population density. Uh, or no, sorry, that's microphone. Yes, that's how you, uh, that uh, information on how you set up your microphone in case uh, things aren't working per, uh, precisely. 
Um, also, like I was saying about population density, please turn your population density down. If you are new to our server and you do, uh, and you want to know a basic walkthrough on how to do things, where things are, so forth, so on, uh, one of our guys in the server, Clout, he did make a YouTube video. It is going to also be in here. Uh, and that YouTube video is going to give you a basic rundown on how to uh, how to get started on the server. Uh, it tells you how to do do your driver's license, how to do all kinds of other stuff. Um, but yeah, we've got an amazing server, amazing community. Go ahead and come out and hang, uh, come and hang out. You know, we got open chats all the time. Uh, staff's always available. If you need any help, get a hold of us. Thank you very much. Have a good day.